good morning. It's our last day. Nothing exciting happening today. We are heading home. Yeah. We're going to go for breakfast here. Show you guys what's in store for that. And I think we'll probably at the end of this video do a merch haul for like, because we did a merch haul for Las yeah. Vegas. Um, yeah. So we're going to go for breakfast and drive and do a merch haul in this video. And if we see anything else. But it's early. It's like before seven. Maybe uh, around seven. Anyway. Alright. Let's go. like a tradition that we stop at Hurston's farm um, if we can if it works out for lunch usually they have fresh fruit it's a little early now all they have is flowers it's all seasonal of course soup of the day I know we've done the farm before um, mm -hmm. vlogged it before but basically you fill out one of these like Zoe's doing and They'll make your sandwich for you, and they're really, really good. What's potato bread? We've had the peach pies before. We also vlogs that. Um, it's in our La Casa videos. I've never tried the homemade berry bar. And there's a cat. He wants something to do with you. Hey, little man. You're pretty cute. You can buy honey, you can buy fresh loaf bread. I've, we've had their cinnamon buns before. Cheeses. I feel like a lot of people come here for their pies, their fruit pies. They come frozen and then you just bake them. They're good, we've had them before. You can also buy them, I think, already baked. Yeah. Apple pie, blueberry pie, cherry, cherry apple, peach, Saskatoon, rhubarb, strawberry, jams, Mennonite sausage, fresh lavender here. I love lavender. Candles and soaps. And sea salt. What's that? I'm trying to get it off. Single ping, 10 points. Oh! oh I went multi ping, 30 points. Ringer, 50 points. Oh, wait. It's a game. I do it. Oh, yeah, I think you're supposed to try to get it on there. Or I don't know. Well, it's not on the It was $60 for four sandwiches, which is feels pricey, and it is pricey, but they're just so good. Everything is so fresh. The bread is fresh. 
And Zoe's injuring herself right now. No, I'm not. I just hurt myself. That's cute. Does running, running out of wine count as cardio? Yes, these little pigs so. are cute. Yeah, I want one. Zoe wants every stuffed animal. It's I something do. that she's never outgrown, that's for sure. I want a jelly cat. Is this lavender? I think it is. This will have seating. But it's like way too cold outside right now. $30 for a basket of flowers. So we're gonna do our merch haul because we don't we didn't we really didn't have much for this video um or for this yeah for this video right we're done we're home our vegas trip is complete this is the last video that you will see for the vegas trip we had tons of fun we hope you liked watching and maybe you it intrigued you to go look or you know oh i want to go there i want to go there i want to see that you said oh actually maybe that's not for me um, but yeah, so we bought things. We we bought things. Um, I normally don't buy too much when we go places. So I usually buys way more than me. But I think you actually. I did, was good. You were good. That's because you didn't really have money. Well, I borrowed like a hundred dollars, <laughs> but still. We were gone for ni nineteen days, almost three weeks. So I feel like we didn't buy really? that yeah. long. Yeah, I don't feel like we bought that much for being away for that long. Okay. Okay, so Zoe's going to start. We went to Target. Yeah, we went to Target, and I don't think they have these in Canada. Because I don't see them ever, but it's... I got a pixie blush. This one's in... I don't know, because I threw away the box. Oh, petal do. Do you want to show yeah. the color, maybe? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, that's really pretty, actually. I like that. Yeah. Not that I wear makeup, but... And how much was that? This was 18 American. Okay. And it's good, because I tried it. And then I got the lip tint. This one's in Nectar. From Pixie as well. It was the only one I had left. <laughs> it's a nice color, though. There, everything was, like, sold out. Yeah, there wasn't much of their items there, was there? Um, and can you find this in Canada? Do you know? I've never seen it in Canada before. Have you looked for it in Canada? No, but when I searched it up, the only place that it showed was the United States places. Okay. And then I went to Marshalls. Marshalls. And I just bought this set. It's a brush and a beauty blender because... Well, mom has my beauty blender. She gave it to me because... Because I never used it at the time, and then all of a sudden I started needing to use it, but it was gone. And then I also told I you I would give it back to you because I know I, I know, don't but I also want the brush. Okay. Because I want to mess around with that. How much was that? Six dollars. American? Yeah. And then at, in the Redwoods, there's gift shops everywhere. And I bought these Bigfoots for ten dollars. Super cute. They're like this big, you guys. Like this <laughs> tiny. Mm -hmm. And then the postcard from the red, Redwoods. Ah. The Redwoods is really nice. And then I went and I bought a Pando. This was eight dollars. He's pretty cute. This was at H and M because I love H and M. It's Kurt Cobain. It was on sale for eight dollars. No, nope. yes, eight dollars. You know what's funny about that is the day that you bought that. I think that was the thirtieth anniversary of him passing away. Yesterday. It was yesterday. So maybe April it was the 7th. day before. Maybe it was April sixth or fifth that he passed away. When did Kurt Cobain die? April 5th. Alright, so yeah, like two or three days before it was his 30th anniversary. Maybe that's why I was on sale. I'm kidding. Oh. Probably not because oh. there's other things that Nirvana that was on sale. But I think it's pretty Sigma. She's been using this word Sigma. 
I do want to add really quick one thing that I forgot to put in the Las Vegas haul is this Penn and Teller cup. It came with a drink. My I son, Caleb, it. we've all met Caleb. <laughs> he uh, bought a drink and it came in this and so we just decided to keep it. I mean, it's cheap, it's plastic, but you know. Penn and Teller's on it. I think it already broke. Oh yeah, it did. Anyway, and then I bought at Universal when we went to Florida, I regretted not buying one in Florida, so I bought one. Isn't he so cute, you guys? It's <laughs> E.T. I don't even know where he's going to hang out yet. He's like a little keychain. Um, he was, I don't know, can you read that? 15. He was 15 bucks. He's the cutest little guy. And look, he's got his little finger. E.T. phone home. E.T. Okay, I know. Listen, I've never it's a nostalgic. E. I remember like E.T. being the very first movie I went to in a theater when I was a kid. I was young, like really young, but I remember it. It was like a core moment, core memory. Anyway, he's so cute. I have no idea where he's going to hang yet. I kind of want to put him in the car, but oh, man, no crashing for us. he's so cute. Anyway, he's super cute. And I'm glad I just bought him because I don't know, it's E.T. He's cute. And apparently they're making another movie. Of really? E.T. So here I was like, oh, I'm going to be all original. And then, like, watch next year when the movie comes out, everybody's going to have E.T.'s. Probably. <laughs> I bought this little keychain for one some, of my friends. For one of Zoe's friends. It was fifth. He's, like, obsessed with Transformers. Just a little bit. I'm not going <laughs> to show the name because I don't know if. No, he don't. wants to be you know or whatever but yeah it's really cute how much was it i don't know i didn't check the price i just handed it to you and said i want this and then you just said okay hey, yeah, it's fun and yeah this this friend of zoe's loves transformers so we bought him that way too much no i never said that he's a great person he is i like board games we like to have family board game nights sometimes with um, my brother or Caleb. Sometimes we have them with your cousins. Anyway, that's what we do sometimes. And so I bought, because we love dogs, I bought this dog park game. Um, yeah, it was $60 American. It wasn't cheap. So I'm hoping it's good. And you have to become the best dog park walker of all time. Like you a have, dog walker? Yeah, like you're comp you have competition. You have to get you have to gain like all the look. That's just stressful. As local dog walkers, you and your friends are trying to set tails wagon by taking the neighborhood pups on a trip to the dog park. Over four rounds you'll have the chance to earn the reputation of the best dog walker around by adding dogs to your kennel, walking them through the park, and navigating your fellow walkers and their pups along the way. Choose your dogs and roots carefully to earn the best reputation, win the game, and prove you are the most accomplished walker of them all. 60 bucks. Hoping it's good. It should be for that price. Money's meant to be spent, right? Okay. And then... That's... You just, like, feel the my Like, holy... Okay, never mind. Keep going. I don't know what just happened. <laughs> no, you just made me more into a shopaholic by saying that. <laughs> My dad used to always say that. Okay, Super Nintendo World. This is the first of all, I just want to show the bag. It's super cute. Because um, it's nostalgic for me. I like anything that reminds me of my childhood. Anybody that was born in like the 70s or 80s, right? Player two. And then it says Super Nintendo World on the other side. And this was... Were you always the player two? No, I just thought it was lame. funny. I just thought it was funny to get the player two instead of the player one. Because everybody wants to be player one. I want to be player two. Oh, okay. I just thought it was funny. So I got player two. And so they, they did have the Mario one. The Mario would be player one. But yeah. I think it's supposed to be meant for, like, matching cups. But mom's, like, a loser and has <laughs> many friends no. do with her. So. Listen, my husband refuses to do anything with me. I Whatever. It's my life. And then when we went to downtown Disney, I don't care what anybody says, downtown Disney, or Disney has the best candy. Oh my god, I forgot you got these. So at Marceline's Confectionery. 
there's a reason why I didn't say that because I cannot pronounce that word. I don't know what it is. Disney makes the best candy, and our personal favorites are the sour balls. Sour cherry balls. So good. It's so windy outside right now. This was eight dollars American. Super expensive for what it is, um, but they're just so good. Like so, so, so good. Buy Disney candy. It's worth it in my opinion. That's it. There wasn't much really. So that was our little merch haul for the second part of our holiday. And yeah, I hope you guys all enjoyed our Vegas and beyond holiday videos. Um, do I say it like and subscribe if you did? Don't like and subscribe, share, hit the notification, all that good stuff. Do what you want. Do what you want. But if you want to continue <laughs> watching us. Okay, listen. Our next big trip is going to be our across Canada trip. There might be a couple more videos after this one. I'm not sure yet. Depends if we go off and do something. There might not be. I don't know. But we'll let you guys know. What's our next big one anyways? Our next big one is going across Canada. Yeah. We had fun. It was exhausting. We did not stop. We did not relax. We did not rest. We would get up early in the morning, 6.30, 7 o'clock every morning, get up, go, mm -hmm. and be back again at night at like 9.30, 10 o'clock at night. It was like, go, 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 go. But that's the way we like to do it. So, yeah. That's the end of the road for us, and we'll catch you later.